Chicago police say 2020 brought some crime fighting successes, but there were some grim homicide numbers. And shooting numbers as well. WGN's Judy Wang has more. 2020 ended with crime overall down, but the numbers of murders and shootings soared. In a statement, Police Superintendent David Brown says law enforcement faced numerous challenges, COVID-19 and civil unrest among them. First shooting of the year happened just after midnight. Police say bullets fired outside entered a home near 87th and South Buffalo, hitting a man and a woman in the living room. There may have been two weapons that may have been recovered on 87th and Mackinac, but as of now, we have two people shot, bullets went through the window, struck them in the head, they was transported to UFC. Three hours later, the first homicide of 2021. An elderly man was killed when he was shot in the neck while driving, then crashed in an alley near 47th and King Drive. This hours after a year when violent crime spiked, reversing years of declines. CPD reported 3,261 shootings in 2020. That was up more than 50% from the previous year. 769 people were murdered, a 55% increase. Carjackings more than doubled, about 1,400 of them last year. Among the victims, rideshare drivers and a retired firefighter killed in Morgan Park in early December. Police also reported successes. Robberies and burglaries were down. Officers recovered more than 11,000 guns and made nearly 7,300 gun-related arrests, the highest in two decades. Also, Chicago police report solving 350 homicide cases, the highest number in 15 years. In the newsroom, Judy Wang, WGN News.